Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're a little hungry. Ella, are we hungry? Yeah, and we're going to my favorite place. Where? In, um, at this, in this town. Fob Jacks! Lunch and snacks! <laughs> Fob Jacks? I, no, that's what the sign says. Flapjacks, lunch and, lunch and slacks. Yeah, that's what the logo said on my mom's computer. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyways, and guys, so we're going to Flapjacks today. Ella and I got kicked out of the house. Jen was doing one of her online videos today, so she said, you guys got to go. I said, where am I going to go? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I'm going to go. I'm going to go fishing. Let's see what happens. So what I'm doing, this creek's probably... 30, 40 feet across. I'm trying to get this frog to the other side and slow walk it back. Couple twitches, let it sit. Couple twitches, let it sit. Did I say a couple twitches, let it slit? Oh boy. This is what I'm looking at. So clearly there's no room for a spinnerbait in there. You just get all boogered up. So we're going to keep throwing the frog for a little bit, see if we can get the pike to come up. Now, like I said, pike season's open. It opened in May. Ugh. Yeah, I'm concerned about ticks, snakes. All kinds of things I'm concerned about. This spot's not doing it. We're going to move on up the creek, see if anything happens up there. Well, folks, it's obviously the next day. There were no fish to be had in the creek. Well, there's fish. They just didn't want to bite what I had to offer. So... Let me tell you a little bit about the creek. I know, I know I've talked about it before, but in the springtime, when the ice is gone, the fishing is fantastic. Big pike, big bass, lots of crappie, lots of bluegill. We have switched spots. Today, I don't have much time, and it is 33 degrees Celsius outside. It's hot. Also, I'm working nights tonight. We come over to a new pond. I'm just going to walk around this pond real quick to see if I can't get something to bite. And uh, hopefully it works. I'm going to be traveling light. I got my chest camera, one rod. That's it. It's too hot to be. I might melt. You think you'll think I melt? I might smell, but I'm not going to melt. Anyway, I'm going to get out there. Ella's with me today too, but Hi! it's a little too hot for her out in the sun. So she's, so she's going to. What are you going to do? Sit in the truck. I sit in the truck in the air conditioning watch my ipad and play games on my dad's phone and basically drink my gatorade i have <laughs> that's it yeah so that's my fishing partner anyway let me switch over to chest camera get out there see if we can catch a few fish for you before i go to work There we go, finally. Oh. Oh, he's off, there he goes. Nice little one pound bass. He was not hooked good at all, clearly. Folks, my truck was running so that Ella could stay in the cool. And here she comes walking across the field. What are the chances that she didn't lock the doors when she got out? What are you doing? Okay, you didn't lock the doors, did you? Oh, that's good because you would have locked the keys in the truck and we can't go home. That's okay. Yeah, I'll be right there. All right, guys, time to try a little ditch fishing. Takes me all the way back to last year. 
Oh, Jesus. Well, there you go, folks. Largemouth bass out of the ditch. I just put my line in the water just to see what spinnerbait was going to look like. Nice little half pound out of this ditch. It took all of uh, a half a second. <laughs> Imagine that. I said before there was bass in this ditch. Also pike. I can see the pike swimming around right now. Finally, vindicated. All last year I tried to catch bass out of here after catching one not on camera. And couldn't get one. Here I just dropped that spinnerbait in there and he took it as soon as, as, soon as it hit the water. All I was trying to do was see, we see the action on the blades. That was it. I think he was hiding under this culvert here. And there goes another one. I saw that fish come from about 10 feet away. Goes to show you folks, no one fishes these small ditches. I've said for the past couple years there was fish in here. Finally. I can see the pike swimming in here. They don't seem to be uh, too interested. There is a lot of gar pike. I'm not looking for gar pike. It only took a year and a half to get vindicated that there was bass in these creeks. And like I said on past videos, there's probably 50 miles of these creeks in the area where I live. We got there. Number two. Easy fella, easy. Number two. Here's another small half pound bass. They seem to be hiding under the culvert here. I have no idea how deep this is either. There we go again. He's a little bit bigger. Well folks, there's number three. That's about a pound and a half. Ditch fishing at his finest. He's gone. Folks, when you're traveling some back roads or back roads in your neighborhood, don't be afraid to just stop and drop a line. I've never ever seen anybody fish in these ditches at all. And there's three bass in 15 minutes. This grass mat's getting a little closer here. I might have to pack it in. we go. Number four.
as you see folks that's a, just a 3 8 ounce black and white spinner bait with one willow leaf small willow leaf at that and a small Colorado blade Number six. All about a pound, but ain't nothing wrong with that. This is the most fish I've ever caught out of this creek. Ever. And this grass mat's moved in, so I can't cast. So what I'm doing is I'm just dropping it out there so far. So I had grass on it, and I saw a bass come up and try and grab it with the grass on it. They are hungry today, folks. So the first creek I was at, nothing. The pond... One minute dropped at my feet. Like I said, guys, people drive by here all the time. I've never seen anybody fish this. I don't know if you can see that gar pike right there. Well guys, that's it. That is it. We went to three or four different spots. Ended up here at the pond. Now again, this is the new pond that I'm fishing at. I'm still trying to figure it out. I know there's bass. I know there's bluegill. I know there's crappy. I also know there's rainbow trout. I'm still trying to figure out the pond. One bass dropped at my feet. A quick catch and release. I don't know if that counts as a catch, but I'm gonna take it. That's it. I like to keep things real on this channel. As you know, if I catch fish, you see I catch fish. If I don't catch fish, you'll see that I don't catch fish either. The reason for that is I'm not just showing you the big ones caught. I'm also showing you because it's real. We all go out fishing. We either get something or we don't but it's better than working. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. I gotta go check myself for ticks here. I'm kinda itching. See you on the next one. Later. Anyway, we ordered breakfast. Ellen and I are going to check it out. I'm getting breakfast too. I don't know if my dad is Of course. Of course I'm getting breakfast. Uh, <laughs> See you in a minute.